I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2002. Things got progressively worse until, in 2008, my neurologist recommended deep brain stimulation surgery. So what do you remember before the surgery? He, uh, he just wasn't fun. I mean, he couldn't do a lot at one time. I mean, he could play catch a little bit. But not much. Yeah. Do you remember anything else, Lauren, about Dad before the surgery? Um, he could not stop shaking. Since my diagnosis of MS in 2008, giant strides have been made in trying to stop the progression of MS. Hopefully future research will actually help find a cure for MS. With both our parents having MS and Parkinson's, it's just difficult. I mean, different complications come. Such as? You have to take a shot every week. Dad. Like Lauren said, I guess could shake sometimes. Lauren, are you scared of anything with both your parents having a neurological disorder? Uh, I don't... Um, well, I used to be afraid that maybe one day I could wake up in the morning and my brain would be gone, but I know that I, it's not the bad kind. What do you mean by gone? Like... In the hospital or dead? Why did you think that? I don't know. What made you she, not she have that know. fear? She didn't know. She thought that because she didn't understand fully. And how did she understand fully? I, she read up on it. She was able to talk with her parents, with you guys, and with counselors. I mean, yeah. she, she gets it now. In November 2008, I had the surgery. It's given me my life back. Tell me about him since the DBS surgery. He can actually play outside, have fun. He's still a little bit shaky here and then, but much better. What does research mean to you? Research is the fundamental beginning to the end of the, these and every other disease out there. You can't find a cure until you can do the research. Who could we thank for this? Research and Dr. Elias. What she said. <laughs> the treatments are working very effectively and very well. But the research means that the doctors understand now what needs to be done and they're doing that and they're continuing the research and they're going to find out what more they can do. Research shows that one in six people have some kind of neurological disorder. In the Bloom family, two of us have something. Isn't that enough? Let's put our brains together to support brain research. Visit www.neurofilmfestival.com. Thank you.